A good day everyone, this is Sultan and in this video we will see how to deploy an express application on render.com. So it's going to be pretty much the same whatever you know programming language you have developed your web service on. Uh, but in this video I'll be using a, a, a Node.js express application by using TypeScript. Okay. So I'm right now in my render dashboard. So the reason for choosing render is, you know, I've been using Heroku for a while. Uh, it's been for a long time, actually. And, you know, recently you guys know that they stopped their free trial, which made me to look for other similar free alternatives. Uh, there were some other things, but, you know, I found render to be pretty much easier. And, you know, they also don't even require credit card. Uh, you know, you don't have to input your credit card information in order to use the free dial, which makes the process more easier, you know, to get started and start deploying. Okay, so it's pretty much easier. We just need to create a new uh, web service uh, for backend application. And, you know, you can use both GitHub and GitLab. Uh, I have used GitLab also for uh, one of my private repositories. And, you know, they also support private repositories, which is pretty cool and you know you need to connect your github account which i think i need to authorize So for this demo, I'll be using the simple application Express MongoDB Boil Update, uh, which is this one. <coughs> so you have to give a unique name. I'll try to give this one. I guess it should work. Express MongoDB Boil Update. Let me try this one. Yeah, so it seems to work and the runtime environment is node.js uh you just need to choose a region and yeah the the branch is going to be so if you have master branch as your main branch you can use that or you know you can choose whatever branch one i think i mean if you have a certain broad branch say for example you have you're going to deploy only uh when you're going to push uh, inside you have a branch called prod and you know you just want render.com to uh deploy it only when you push it to that branch you could choose it over here so since i have only one branch it just shows me the main branch and the build command is the one which we need to note so here they have yarn and yarn build um, but here we will be using npm install sorry for that and So this npm brand build is because I'm using TypeScript and you know this build command is the one which built my application and if you're just deploying a normal JS application I think it, you don't even have to have this thing. Uh, okay, uh, first let me just walk you through my code base in order to make you understand why this build command is there. So I'm an express application built in TypeScript. So only after you run the build command it will create a dist folder which will have the compiled version so let me show you that in pm run build <clears throat> yeah so this dist file is the one which contains the uh, built uh, part of our application so here we will have no, I'm not able to navigate correctly. Yeah, so this is the server.js file which is which has the application. Uh, and you know, in our package.json file, we have the build command which builds the application, and you know, we have the start command which goes inside the disk folder and you know uh, starts our application using dist slash server.js, which is this file. Okay, so based on our package, so whatever uh commands you have in your package json guys you have to use that so after npm run builds uh it will uh build build the app the application the actual application and you know you have to start using npm start and that's pretty much it so we have to choose a pre-plan and 
yeah i think we need to i will show you how to add environment variables so uh, for my application i need a couple of environment variables in order to uh, get it started without any error so this is the mongodb connection string uh, which is a temporary uh, username password which i just generated so what i will do is i will have them copied over here and this one you, you can also edit it uh, after, even after the application gets deployed you can you know edit this environment variables but i'm doing it right now because you know this is something which my application this code base actually requires in order to start it without any error <clears throat> so yeah the that's enough i guess and there is this health check path and auto deploy yeah so auto deploy on every push to your repos to your changes to your service select not to handle your ma manual de man you know handle your deploys manually in the sense you know once you deploy you will have a button over here you know to deploy it uh so basically what this option means is whenever you push a updated version to your repository in your github uh, you know the hooks gets, gets called and you know the render will trigger a deploy uh, for the updated code base so if you don't want to do that and if you want to do it manually you can choose no here and you know once you have a, a pretty stable version in your github you can come uh, you can log into render and you know you can manually deploy so right now i'm just going to choose yes and you know uh, get my web service started so it takes some time guys actually so till that i will show you how things work locally so if i run npm run uh, there yeah it gets started here and you know if i run the call command forget using ping it should return me a, a 200 okay response okay so without i i will show you the response so this is the response which i'm getting when i you know hit this api endpoint slash ping so which is something i have over here inside routes it's ping i'm just uh you know sending a pong message just to check the server <clears throat> So this one might take a while. You uh, you just need to uh, view the logs whether you know if your build command is not correct or something. This might fail, you know, because even me at the first time I forgot to uh, give the npm uh, install command. So this one actually failed the build process. So so this is something which you need to note uh if something gets failed you can just you know uh, reconfigure everything uh, i mean if you come to the settings panel you will see the same dashboard again and you can reconfigure all the settings and you know, so yes guys uh, uh you know our application so got a problem at all if and you and it's running it. to 10,000. so uh after that you know we can check that using there will be a you are a provider over here so if you hit that you will be able to navigate to your application so actually it takes a while uh for the cold start to work so give it some time <clears throat> yes guys so finally uh we were able to get the response you know i think it's due to the cold start time so uh it has been mentioned it will take at least 30 seconds for the free tire uh you know i will navigate to the card page and you know I'll share it with you just give me a second uh where is the free tire information yeah so it has been mentioned here this can cause a response delay of 30 seconds for the first request that comes in after a period of inactivity so which is 15 minutes of inactivity so since you know our server get, just get just got started 
uh, it might take a while for you to see the uh, for you to receive the response so right now you can see here I am able to get my response back and also you know the cool part is you have the live logs which is running over here so whenever you uh, log into the dashboard and you know if you want to debug or something the logs are just over here um, yeah I think that pretty much that's pretty much it on how to deploy your express application on render thank you guys for watching you know if you like the video just hit the subscribe button and like button thank you again bye